Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you so much. My name is Clovis Asuobi, and it's a privilege for me to meet you here today. Welcome to this channel, Atmosphere of Prophecy, Word and Prayer. If you're new here, thank you so much. I want you to stay because this prophetic word is for you. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this word as you speak to us again. Holy Spirit, give us direction through your word. In Jesus' name, amen. These are prophetic visions you're seeing. These are prophetic visions you're seeing and they're getting you confused and you don't know. This is for three categories of people that the Lord gave me this word. The first one, you keep seeing yourself meeting men of God that are very, they are known on social media. They are known everywhere. People know about them. They talk about them. And you keep seeing yourself being impacted by them. Every time you have a dream, it's either you're impacted by this one, or you met this man of God, or you met this man of God, or you met this man of God. And some, sometimes women of God, you are really troubled and and you don't have access to them like you cannot meet them you're wondering why am i having all these dreams i'll tell you that is because the lord is on a mission to use you it might not be just for ministry but the lord is on a mission to use you and because of what you carry god is connecting you to certain people not to listen to them really like i mean but the lord is connecting you to these altars to preserve what you have because there is a lot of battle on your head. So God is connecting you to higher graces to preserve what you have. That's why you're seeing all of this. The second category of people is you are having prophetic dreams. You keep seeing wars. Sometimes you see, I mean, crisis. Sometimes you even see some huge men of God falling. You see strange things. You see beasts. You see some funny, funny things. Your dream land is, is worried. And you don't know. And you are like, how do I get this? And most of the things you see, they come to pass. And you are really wondering. Well, the Lord is using you in the prophetic. The problem is you don't know how to handle this gift. I will advise you to get a mentor. I will advise you to intercede more. When you begin to see such visions, take out time to intercede. Pray in the spirit more if you can pray. If you need a partner to pray with you, get into partnering with somebody to pray with you always. The truth is, your eyes, there is something about your eyes. There is, there is something there that from the time you were born, you have prophetic insight. It's just that it's still manifesting. It's still in the first realm where you are a prophet, sign in dreams and in visions. And the Lord is showing you all of these things as a sign to tell you what is to come. And he wants you to be in alignment, to be a prophetic intercessor so that you'll be able to redefine certain destinies and certain people's life. The third thing, I see the third category is you are having messages for people around you and you're telling them some of them don't believe you. People doubt your dreams. People, people, people don't believe in what you say. You see some things you try to share to people. They ignore you. Some call you names. Well, Joseph was like that. He had a vision and shared with his brethren and they did not believe. They didn't even want to hear. They felt intimidated because of what the person Joseph was seeing. And because of this, he shone himself but later on they saw what these dreams were all about and god played it before their very eyes the dreams joseph saw became a reality i don't want you to doubt yourself because you are at the point where you're beginning to doubt yourself and you're confused don't be worried a time will come where people will begin to value what you say you just need time just take our time to pray more for the people you see if you can't pass a message to someone Go on your knees and pass the message to God. Bring it back to the one that revealed it to you. Don't force yourself to tell them. Most of the times if I dream or I have a vision of someone and the person is resistant to receive it, I pray to God to show them mercy and I pray to God if it's something bad that doesn't come to pass so that they will be free. And sometimes I pray and the Lord will let it happen so that next time they might pay attention. Just hand it back to God. And the last category of people I want to pray for is that you have dreams and visions of the, with the dead. There's always the dead coming to you. There's always an attack. There's always people dreaming. You see people or you see yourself intimate with people in the dream or fighting. There's a struggle in your dream land. You need this instruction. Get a bowl, put salt, and pray every night and pour it around your house. 
for seven days. This is a prophetic instruction. I tell you this thing, it's very serious. Get a bowl, put salt there. Pray with it every day for seven days. Pour it around your house. Just pour it around your house when you're sleeping. Seven days, the Lord will show you specifically what's going on. And you will stop and it will put an end to evil dreams. Secondly, you can connect to a stronger altar. You can take a seed of sacrifice and put it in an altar and then tell the prophet to pray for you. And you will see what will happen. Thirdly, it could be that you are called to intercede warfare and confront certain darkness in your house. I hope this message meets the right people. Spirit of God, let this message meet the right people that you have assigned for. And let it bring them clarity and give them hope again to stand. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. If you are confirming this message, I want to see you and explain to me some of the dreams you have. I could interpret it for you by the help of the Holy Spirit. Just say, it is me, Pastor, you are talking to. I have this kind of vision or I'm in this category. And this is the category I'm talking about. And I can pray with you. And I can agree with you and tell you some details, things that the Lord spoke to me that I cannot share here because I don't want to make the video long. Why don't you like the video, subscribe if you are new, and be less believe God for greater things. God bless you, and see you at the top. Shalom.